Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I am proud to present a review of this 2003 Toyota RAV4 L. This is gonna be a startup of the RAV4, where I show the engine and give you the performance details, as well as show you the interior and exterior of the RAV4. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead, start this up and let it run. This doesn't have a remote on it, so I have to unlock it manually. It's stuck. There's a walk horn too. Walk and it turns on. That's set off. Yeah, I don't know what the f is about. Let's go ahead with the day. So. Runs fine, kind of. 218,274 miles. Give your free spoke vinyl wrap steering wheel. And an automatic transmission. Reverse neutral drive to and low. Cruise control, which is kind of surprising. Let's go ahead and close the door here. No idea, I think that weird sound is coming from a speaker. This is like cloth interior. Very basic. Old Toyota radio. You have a tape deck. I'll show you how old this thing is. And a CD player. Oh wow, it has a CD in there. Apparently that's the owner of us, it's just like used to. Yeah, you love the CD. 12 volt cigarette lighter. Compact flash card. Oh, let's turn that off. Uh, two cup holders. Just old Toyota 2003. Parking brake is manual. Little storage for coins and probably one of the smallest center consoles I've ever seen. The driver's side window is fully automatic. Oh wow, it broke. And the window control just broke on me. Oh my goodness, what the? This car's falling apart. Like, I can't open the windows. The window motor just broke. What the? F Seriously, something's up with this car. I swear. Never had that happen to me before. Automatic mirrors, left and right. Something's wrong with this car. Let's just walk around the exterior. Oh, there we go, the windows are working again. Kind of. Cloth insert on the doors. That's a car. Let's just do a walk around on the exterior. Got the headlights and the hazards. Yeah, here are the headlights. God, what the heck is this thing doing? Not running well. Hit polygen headlights and turn signals. Black grill. Like the entire license plate's shaking. Polygen turn signals on the bottom. This is just basic transportation. This is on Assurance tires, Goodyear, all season. 215-70 R16. Polygen. Turn signals, reverse lights, and brake lights. And a wheel on the back. Here's the exhaust. Very shaky. It's just a basic car. It does have a sunroof though, which is kind of surprising. Let's just pop the hood on this car. Seems to be running warm though. for the gas cap is too. Good. 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 
latches properly on it. Got to pull it up to open. Oh, God. 2.0 VVTI engine. Power numbers will be in the description. Kind of small. Here we go. Just heat it up. It's kind of nerve wracking to do. Four way manual seats. Tons of space here though. And the horn is on its way out. That's awful. The console, pretty nice space. Yeah, it's probably gonna be one of my worst reviews. It's an FM transmitter. It makes so much noise when started. Here are the rear seats. Power windows, of course, and quite a bit of space. You have a little bit of a storage compartment. You have two seat storage compartments, which is also nice. I'm pretty sure there's something back here, but there isn't. It's just a basic SUV. Oh, it has a top belt too. It's kind of just very basic. But it is like 20 years old because of the sunroof. Gas cap. Pull this and it kind of opens like a door. You have carpeting. Out what? It doesn't even stay. It's a manual. You have to close it manually. Oh, oh so many. It smells like hay here. The horses. So many horses here. No, no, no. Yep, so that's the, the rear trunk of the RAV4. Now, let's just conclude this review of the. This RAV4 has definitely seen some better days. But at least it gets you from point A to point B and has a decent amount of cargo room. Thanks for watching and bye.